Right, Shalom. So first and foremost, call Allah, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Waha Kodash Raka. Double honor to the elders over a great millstone who are well. Shalom to you. Also, Shalom, Waparakim, to the hopeful elect of Israel, or Yasha Allah. All right, Shalom to you. Also, Shalom to those of you who are near, who are here to learn about your history, about your heritage, you know, ultimately grow in the spirit. Um, before we get going, this message is specifically to you, so-called Negroes, so-called Latinos, so-called Native American Indians. You are all, in fact, the direct descendants of the Israelites of the Bible. Thus, you are the Israelites. You are the Israelites um, in the current world today, you know, just living under um, by words, by names, you know, which, you know, is part um, of you being cursed due to the breaching of the contract, you know, the covenant that we made with the Most High. So, again, this message is specifically to you Israelites. Um, so, real quick, this is going to be, you know, a quick testimony you know, of, a, of a vision, you know, that the Most High um, gave me or put upon me. You know, I was working on a lesson at the time of the, um, that I had the vision. And, um, you know, it, it's something that hit me and it was weird to have the vision I had. And I almost, you know, I thought that I was bugged out, um, while I was having the vision. So I never, um, really came out to really say nothing about it. And it came to pass that, um, we was out doing the work. We was on the highways. And um the brother, you know, one of the brothers had um said that, you know, the brother Shariat, he had said that these heathens, they go do the best rendition of us, you know, of the works that we do currently in the kingdom that's to come. And um in that moment with the when the brother had said that, you know, my vision that I had was pretty much, you know, it was opened up to me. You know, it, it came to full understanding. So the vision I had, you know, to get into it was um, pretty much I seen, you know, us in the kingdom, us Israelites. You know, we made it to the kingdom and it was, um, you know, the streets were just, they were full and joyous. You know, Israelites are everywhere. You see Israelites in their right mind. We were in our um, right attire. You know, it was glorious. All right. And it was almost as if it was a parade going on, but it just seemed like normal day life. It wasn't like an actual parade, but it was just that many people. You know, you, if you can imagine like, um, you know, the, the, the Macy's parade they put on in New York that everybody see. Like, it was a bunch of Israelites strutting down, you know, the highways, the roads, if you will, carrying on with normal life. And then on the sides of the road, just like in those parades, you know, the parade happens in the middle of the road and everything. And the parade is all glorious you know, ongoing and on the sides, you know, people watch all the watchers watch on. So the watchers, the people that was watching the parade, you know, if you will, were, you know, all the heathens, a bunch of heathen nations. Um, you know, I seen, you know, mostly I seen a lot of Edomites, but I seen Elamites, I seen Moabites, they all in the crowds, you know, and they set up as you know, as if they were teaching, you know, as how we hit the highways and byways, they were, um, they were set up just like us. It was, you know, it was crazy. So, you know, thus I'm thinking in my mind that, you know, this was a bugged out vision and I never like had said anything to anybody about it until the brother had, um, said again, that they, thus being the heathens are going to do their best rendition of what we do right now in the kingdom. Right. You know, and it was glorious. It was glorious, but it was just, in my mind at the time, I thought it was bugged out because, again, I seen um, the heathens there praising to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Wa'akwadash Rakai. It was, you know, it was, it was nuts. And um, they, were, they, had, they had the swords on them, you know, and they were just pretty much out teaching other heathens, you know, the scriptures, you know, and they were right on. I remember some of the conversations as it went on. And um, to say this vision that happened, you know, as I was awake, I was in the middle of um, putting a lesson together. And, um, you know, the vision that came upon me and I had also, I wrote a note down on it. Like I wrote a whole um, little sticky note or um, postcard about it. 
and I wrote everything that happened in the vision. And as time went back by, I kept, I kept coming back to it, and I just discarded it after a while because I'm like, that was just bugged out. But, um, you know, like I said, the brother had said what he said on the um, highways, and I went on and just inquired about, you know, why he said that. Can you give me some scriptures, if you will, you know, to back up what you said? Um, because, like I said, in that moment, I realized that that was, you know, the vision. And back it up with scriptures. You know, we're going to start off with Jeremiah chapter 12 and verse 16. And it reads, And it shall come to pass if they, you know, the heathens, the heathen nations, will diligently learn the ways of my people, us Israelites. See, they learn the ways of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. To swear by my name, the Lord Yahweh liveth. You see? As they taught my people, see, as they taught, like how they taught us, you know, to pray to all of their um idols and their fake gods, right? You got Jake, Israelites all over the world praying to Jesus, you know, or anything else they pray to. As they taught my people to swear by Baal, right? Then shall they be built in the midst of my people. And that's exactly what I saw. They learned the name. They were preaching the name. And they were built amongst us. We were, of course, the main attraction in the middle of the streets. You know, that's what the vision. We were like the parade, you know, the beautiful parade that you see with all the floats. We were the floats. We were the attraction. But the onlookers, the bystanders on the side, right, with thus them being built in because they were right there. They were built into the nation. They were with their scriptures, with um, their Bibles, teaching the name, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, praising the Lord. You know, teaching other heathen um, nations. So, you know, that's that was dead on to um, what the vision I had. Um, again, the water brother for the um, scriptures, but, you know, that gave me full understanding that, you know, that wasn't a bugged out um, vision I had. You know, it was right on with the scriptures, you know, which is beautiful. Um, we go do one more scripture and we'll wrap this thing up. So we go go to... Um, Zechariah chapter 14, um, we go start at 16. It says, and it shall come to pass, right, that everyone that is left of all the nations, right, the heathen nations, which came against Jerusalem, see all our enemies, those Salak who were once against us, against Jerusalem, Jerusalem being a people, right, being the Israelites, shall even go up from year to year to worship the king, the Lord Yahweh of hosts, and to keep the Feast of Tabernacles. So it's just further going, like in our kingdom, you know, the heathen nations, they're going to have to learn our ways. They're going to have to learn and submit and pray to um, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. They're going to have to, you know, be with it. They're going to have to be into this truth, Right? And here's just saying, it's going to come to pass that our pretty much our enemies shall even go up from year to year to worship. They're going to be worshiping the king, the Lord of hosts, which is Yahweh, and to keep the feast of tabernacles. So they're going to be, um, they're going to know the, um, they're going to know the truth. They're going to praise to our power, and they're going to be in line ultimately. And, you know, we could keep reading, but, you know, I didn't want to make this, you know, too long. So, you know, that's pretty much it. So, you know, hopefully, you know, the test of the testimony that I um, had, you know, was edifying. But with that said, I'm going to peace out. Shalom.